Hi, my name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes, uh, welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which you can find on our Facebook page or website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card or extra gifts from us the following month. Uh, we put out a couple of live stream throughout the week so it's worth subscribe, subscribing to our channel if you'd love to see more card making and paper crafts inspiration using Stampin' Up! products. So during our live also we take note of people's name who comments and put it on the random draw at the end of the live stream. Uh, you'll win what we create this evening and if you are watching the replay do pop in a comment, uh, say hello, uh, or where you're from uh, and we'll put you on random draw on our next live stream. Uh, do check again uh, before our live stream um, so to see if you won and email us at barrynj at mitosocrafts.com if you have won a card from us. Yes. So good. So we've got quite a few of you on tonight already. Nice. Yes. It's nice to see. I saw there was a get you to chattering before we started, which was really good to see. I like the little community which we're kind of like build, building up here, which is lovely. Yeah. Which is great. So yes, so tonight we're going to be using the Snailed It stamp set along with the curvy mini curvy keepsake box dies. Um, is what we're going to be using tonight. So we're going to have a bit of fun. I've gone bright tonight. Yes, you have. Gone very bright. So bright. Um, but yes, uh, yeah. before we do that though, we'll do the uh, random draw for this card. Ooh, with the hummingbird sniffing the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, yes, so if you haven't seen the video for this one, it's quite simple, but uh, <laughs> there are some techniques on, on that video and that can be found on our channel. Let's say hello first, actually. Yes. Uh, who's in so thank you so much don't forget to hit that like button and share to your crafty friends as well uh who you think might enjoy the video too so we have krista steph jan um where are we susan mandy um kathy connie sherry um mandy i think i might have said um teresa Sh um arlene where are we? Lorna, Gian. Jan, Helen, Nola, Rosie, Judy, Lewis, or Louis, Lois. Uh, Lo Lois, sorry, Maureen, um, who else we got? Brenda, Avis, Karen, Wendy, Denise, and then it always does that. And then we have got and Linda. Sue. And Sue, so lots Thanks. of you on already. Thank you very much for yes. um, commenting. Uh, remember to give us a thumbs up as well um, if you're happy. And say hi to and our moderator, uh, Krista, as well. Right. <laughs> yeah, say hi to our moderator. Hopefully she'll see if you have any questions. I will go onto the Big Mac as well uh, and check the names and write the names down as well as see if there's any questions. Hi, Addison. Cool, so shall we do the random yes, drop let's do that. So we're just going to bring the laptop yeah, in. Yeah, it's so much easier. It is. Um, oh, I need to do flip it in this. Yeah. I need to remember. Let's go down. Bring the laptop in. So good luck, everyone. And the winner will be, let me just update it. One more comment came in. And the winner is going to be... Connie. Connie! Congratulations, Connie. You get the sniffing hummingbird. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if you can do uh, scratch and sniff? <laughs> no. Lovely. <laughs> so, Connie, that card's working its way over to you. So, all right, we're going to keep the camera facing down as we are in that position already. And we're going to crack on with tonight's snailed it card and box. Okay, so, right, let's see how many times I can ask Jay to do something tonight. Um, I think I have got, I think I'm prepared. But I'm sure there's probably one thing I have forgotten to bring out. So we're going to be using lots of things. I've got lots of colours here. So we're going to be doing a bit of colouring with the stamping blends. We're going to be doing a bit of embossing with, the, with an embossing folder. We're going to be using a punch. 
Um, we're going to be doing some fussy cutting. We're going to be tying a bow. Yeah, there's a lot going on on one card this evening, but I quite like it and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. So it's, it's different. So stamp set. Let's just grab my bits out. So first things first, I am using, the colours I'm using is going to be Bermuda Bay. You all right, Jay? Yeah. Got a problem? No. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, Jay's just feeding the cat and um, Tommy's got his head in the big food bowl at the moment whilst he's distracted with the other two. Um, so I'm going to be using Bermuda Bay, nice bright Daffodil Delights. I'm going to be using... This paper right here from the Snailed It Designer Series paper, as well as some Whisper White. So let's just show you, and I'll see you've got this one right here. I'll just turn the brightness up a little bit. I just need to go. Let there be light. So there we go, that one. And the paper, if you haven't seen this already, um, is, it comes with the, comes with the, the suite. It's a Snail Mail Designer Series paper. And we've got this one right here and again the dies will fit this as well which is really nice so which is cute and you get two of that double-sided of course you get this one right here sort of small snails some heart and some large mushrooms right there some tiny mushrooms and that's the back and that's the one which i'm using tonight we get this lovely bright yellow um, mail and um, parcels and you've got like a little stamp stamp shape on the back and you've got these swirly curlies right here and those cute little um, snails right there and um, so really really nice it's a fun designer series bit of paper it's it's fun it's cute it's colorful it's bright um, I think it's, it's 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 one which will cheer. I think any it would cheer anyone up if they receive that. I'll see. It's 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 a fun it's a fun set. So um, yeah, I hope you like it. Obviously, if you like to purchase anything which you see us use, you can do. Links to our online shop are, can be found down below in the description. Um, and yeah, if you do purchase from us as well, please remember to use the host code, which can be found out over on our website as well. If you do use a host code, you can. That we will, It allows us to be able to send you a little extra freebie gift, um, a little sampler or something, some gems, a little bit of ribbon maybe um, in the post. So please use that. It's a good, so snail mail. Let's grab my card base. So I'm working, I'm gonna be doing a Bermuda Bay card base first. So as usual, we cut this down to size. This is 14.6 centimeters. And score it in half at 10 and a half centimeters. Obviously, if you work in different measurements, then obviously just, just use it to how you convert your to your size card. And I'm going to be doing the Daffodil Delight is going to go down to nine and a half. By 13.6. Let's see if that is correct. So, and that's going to be a nice matte and layer on that one. So, I'm just going to fold and burnish that piece right there. Oh, what you got for dinner, Mum? And where's ours? So, there we go. So, that's going to be so, so it's quite a bright, um, it's quite a bright one already. I'm going to take my designer series bit of paper and this has been cut what I've done is I've cut a two centimeter two a two inch strip we actually haven't converted this one over on this one on our other banners we've actually put the centimeters and the inches on it I can only remember this in the inches so it's a two inch um two inch strip for the largest um banner on the triple on the banner triple punch so I've, I've cut it at two inches and I'm going to take that to four and a quarter inches. 
audio paper trimmer, it does tell you so 5 centimeters. <laughs> Stay in the obvious, sorry, that's my neighbor's car downstairs. I'm sure he's got the noise his car going. So, 2 inches is 5 centimeters and 4 and a quarter um, inches is 10 and 10.8 centimeters. But yeah, so. It goes in. It goes in different measurements. So you've got. I, can, I can't actually remember. I know it's one inch. So that'd be one and a half inches, and that'll be two inches. The size banners. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to make sure I want the banner part to be at the bottom. So I'm going to make sure I pop it in there with the. So it looks like the mushrooms are the wrong way round but I'm looking at it this way. And then we would then just punch it out and then that will give you a perfect banner, your fish whales, whatever they're called, at the bottom. And that's that. And then that's gonna go on like that. So I'm gonna get all my elements together first and then I'm gonna do some die cutting and so on. So I'm gonna then take my stamp and I'm gonna stamp the snail now so that the memento can dry up, ready for me for coloring. So this is the stamp, the snail I've decided to use. So the cute one carrying little birthday presents or gift or whatever you wanna, whatever they want to be for whatever occasion. Um, he is delivering your parcel. Just gonna pop that in the middle. Doesn't really matter what way around I do it, as long as I leave myself enough room for the square. So that one. There. And whilst I've got them, whilst I've got this out, I may as well just stamp the sentiment. So this will be number one because I am definitely number one because I will be asking Jay to. Um, to fussy cut this. There we go. Whilst I'm doing everything else, he can, um, Jay can kindly fussy cut that for me. I'm sure he won't mind. So it comes with, um, it comes with these dies as well. So it comes with the snail dies. So you can buy them as a bundle, um, and if you do buy them as a bundle, you do get 10% out. So do keep an eye out in the, set, in the catalogue for, for stamp sets which have coordinating dies. Some of them will have um, a 10% discount, um, so just be, just be aware of that one. And this is the die I'm going to use. I'm not actually using any of the other ones, but he is just going to go over the top of that one like that. Like I said, there isn't a die in here which will cut out the, um, unfortunately that's just a little bit too small. Um, there isn't a die in here which will cut out that sentiment. So it either needs to be done with a rectangle die or a, or a die which you've got in your collection. Or you can fussy cut it. And obviously I want it fussy cutted. For Everyone's this particular doing one. side bets. Side <laughs> bets, what, on how many times I'm going to ask, how many yeah. times, yeah. So that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to die cut this out. So we'll just reach the machine. Just have a little bit of room. <laughs> Mandy's already lost, you said zero today. <laughs> So I'm just going to pop that in like that, centralise that snail up in the machine. So you can't quite see that on there, that's fine. But it's in there. If I move that out of the way. That's it, there we go. And then let's run this through the machine. Mix 
isn't it? And it's a lovely set, this one here. I lo I'd love to, because it's one, I think it's scalloped, but it's got that stitching around it as well, and it's a perfect fit for that snail. So that's the one I will get Jay to fussy cut. So I'll give that to him now so he can, um, Jay can crack on with that one. Thank you very much, Jay. That one right there. Okay. Some scissors. See, he's looking for scissors. No, I've got scissors. Oh, okay. Um, See, I was going to say you can... Just, um, can you tell everyone the blends that you the colors? I will do, yes. Yeah. I will do that right now. Let me just pop this die away. So Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, um, Real Red. So I've kind of gone with the colours which will coordinate with this paper pack as well. So I've got a selection. So we've got Bermuda Bay, Light and Dark. We have got Daffodil Delight. We have got Real Red. So they're the colours which are in the the designer series bit of paper now we don't have a blush and bride color ink and um, color blend so what i've got here is i've got petal pink and i have got flirty flamingo so the between those two there i'll be able to kind of recreate the 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 pink the pink body uh, which will then coordinate so i will go ahead and do that in a second so did that help was that all right there so if i just i need to move this room so i need to bring the machine back in again because i need to do some die cutting not die cutting i need to do some embossing so the embossing which i'm going to do for this one is i'm going to be using the brick and mortar 3d embossing folder Again, I thought because it's snails, garden, garden themes, kind of where I was going with this one. So I figured the, um, I figured that's this embossing folder worked quite well with this particular one. So I'm going to bring in the Suki once again. But this time I am going to need to do it with the, with the, um, one and four for the 3D embossing folder right here. So I've got my gray plate, which is my number four plate. And I'm just gonna pop this in like so. So again, if you are using the brick one, depend, I, I would say obviously your bricks gonna need to go that way. Um, you don't very rarely get walls which go like that so being that I bear in mind I want this is going to be an upright card I want to make sure I pop my paper in this particular way um, and not that way otherwise when I go to lay it in I'm going to have my my bricks are going to look wrong so just when you're using this one I would say just keep an eye on it to make sure that you it's the orientation you want it and use this black line down here as a guide to make sure you've got it straight, okay? Here we go, and we pop the gray on top, and run this through. Sorry about the wobbles, everyone. I nearly said something. <laughs> Trey's been rude now. I'm carrying a bit of lockdown weight, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. And this here, open it up. Oh, I just love this folder. It's just so detailed. Even the front and the back both look really, really nice. So you can do some really nice work with this one. We had a really lovely Christmas card um, as well, and it's it was in it had some it was in red. Could you pass it down from yeah. Jay, actually? From Vicky. From. Okay. V Is it? Just double check. Yeah, from Vicky. We had this Christmas card right here using this and we've still got it on display we've got a lot of our christmas cards out on display already because we just love them all um but we've got this one here with, which used the bricks um 3d bricks and mortar thanks vicky um embossing folder and obviously it's got some white in it so that looks like that's probably been done with the white craft ink 
either onto the embossing folder to add that kind of distressed look on it as well. Really, really like it. So there's a lot you can do with that with the inks. And I think it works really quite nicely to distress that brick wall up to make it look older and just give it What's a different that thing. Was number two? Was that number two? Oh, <laughs> I don't think that one counts. I it wasn't. That was just an. Oh, that was something which I didn't. I couldn't plan. Yes. I couldn't plan for that one. No, fine. I, that one was an unplanned thing. I didn't forget to do that because I didn't didn't know I was going to talk about it. That's an unfair advantage. I disagree <laughs> with that one. Okay, fine. I'm in a mood now. <laughs> I'm going to take everything off the table and it sits down in a moment <laughs> oh, no. to make sure that... Yeah, because I need some, some of he's, he's making sure he takes it away now. Um, okay, I'm going to bring my glue in and I'm going to go ahead straight now and I'm going to stick this embossing folder I'm going to hide stuff. And I'm going to stick that straight down onto my bit of paper. Straight down. Just so that gets set up straight away. And I'm going to stick this one straight on as well and I'm just going to stick this and it's not going to go down directly down the center it's going to go off center but you're laughing at Jay. everyone was like no that doesn't count <laughs> so I'm still on one not two well Monday is the um, counter so no judge <laughs> Appeal. Appeal. <laughs> I want a second opinion, please. <laughs> I'm going to take it to So that's that one there. Okay. And then that one there is going to get popped in like this. So Jay has kindly brought over my You Snailed It sentiment so i think this is really nice okay it's a nice play on words um again it could be it, you could give it to anyone you could get a, so you, you've got a lot of parents and grandparents at the moment at home homeschooling and this is quite a young set and you could maybe make a nice little card with or not someone if you're one of your children have actually done really well that week or had a good week at homeschool and just to encourage them maybe and it's like you snailed it and it's a play, fun play on words i was thinking or anyone who just needs a little bit of encouragement um, who's done a good job, who's, I think it's just, yeah, you could use that sentiment for a lot of people. So I'm going to now go ahead and colour. So I'm going to be using the light Bermuda Bay first and I am going to colour in my um, snail shell. Ours has gone a little bit furry, but we need to it still works. So this is where I go quiet. So chat amongst yourselves for a moment. Yeah. Any questions? Pop them down. I'm just finishing the names. Jay's just doing the names. I'm still on it. So we just wanted, I just wanted to, whilst I remember actually, whilst I'm, whilst I'm doing a bit of colouring, um, our online store, obviously if you live within um, obviously the UK, France, Germany, Netherlands or Austria, you can shop with us. And the reason I mention that as well is the Netherlands, there is apparent there is a PayPal function now as well. So it should be a little bit easier. They've, they've actually allowed um, PayPal functions for anyone in the Netherlands to be able to shop with us. So if you do live in the Netherlands and you are, you've had problems shopping with us previously in the past, you should be able to now with PayPal. Um, that's, the, that's the thing they've got set up in place for you to be able to do that. So um, we would love it, obviously, if you could shop with us. And now hopefully you can. So that's that one there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the dark. Oh no, I've missed one. 
missed the whole centre part of his shell. That one, and then I'm going to go in with the dark, and I'm going to kind of just go round. I kind of like think the. You right? Yes. And then maybe like a little bit up some of these. Everyone's asking is the favor count for the whole session or for her? Her is, card. Is the what, sorry? The, the whole session, the favor of counting. But Bar's doing the cards so, and I'll be doing the second one, so we don't know. I don't know. And then I'm just going to go and do the uh, blending. With the light again over the top, concentrating on the areas where I've actually just done the actual blending, just sucks. That's where you want the alcohol to actually do its job. <laughs> Barry count too. <laughs> I need to prep for mine. <laughs> That. And then you can sometimes be able to still just go back over that again. Maybe that's just with the light going on here is a little bit more than it's still because you're layering up these colours. And it's just hopefully going to add a little bit of the. It's just going to make it look a little bit more um, dimension. Give it a little bit more dimension, should I say. Let's speak proper English. Let's speak proper. So, so it's a matter of the blends, it's just a whole, it's a matter, especially when I work, as I'm working with a darker colour here, it does need a little bit more work than some of the lighter colours because it's quite strong. The other colours are quite light, so it shouldn't take me as long to work with it. So that's that one. And now I'm going to go on to the present. So I'm going to do the first present I'm going to do in the yellow. So I'm going to do the light, daffodil delight here. And then I'm going to kind of assume that the light is catching this. Um, where's, if I kind of got the shadow, the shadow is actually coming from this side here, I suppose. We can have a little bit on, maybe a little bit more on that side there. See, I don't think about where the light's coming from. I could pop shadow in wherever I think I want to pop shadow in, and then it, that's why it probably doesn't look as good as it should do, because you've got light coming from here, you've got light coming from there, it's everywhere. So Jay's um, very good at obviously explaining where the light is coming from. There's not much here on the, on the yellow. It's quite, they're, they're very samey, samey. Like that, and I will have a flirty flamingo top parcel. So I'm just going in with the light first. That one, and then I'll just go over with the dark. Just on one side here. 
then go back over with the light one more time just to blend it out. So that's that. Now I'm going to colour the colour the body of my snail and I'm going to be using the light dark of the petal pink. So this will not look like you're putting any colour down really. It was very, very, very light, the the light petal pink. You can see it there. It's, it, is, it is popping a colour down. And you can't see it. It's it's fine, but it's very very it's very very light. And again, I'm just going to saturate this, and it's, especially around the bottom part. I want to saturate it around the bottom part there, because that's the one where I want it to blend. So I'm going to then use the dark petal pink. Again, there's not much difference on this, but it's enough. And then just bring it out. And this is really saturating this paper. You can see it's really coming through on the back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the flirty flamingo. And I'll just add a very thin layer of the flirty flamingo. Down like that. Maybe even a dark as well and then we can like go back on it and then i'll go back with the with the dark petal pink that will then just smooth it out a little bit and then just finish off just to then finish off those little just to blend that part in like that one last thing I forgot to do is I'm going to take the red and I'm just going to then colour in these little stripes here. Oh, it's orange, you said? No, real this red. is real red. Oh. Take the dark and just pop a little bit of dark at the bottom here. Here, 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 and there. And then take the light one more time and then just colour lays out. And there we have it. There is my snail coloured with blends. Oh, it's a it's a real fun set to me, and because it's a because it's a because it's a bit of a comical set as well. You can use some different wacky colours on it. It doesn't matter at all. Jay coloured one. It's, I think I think I put it back in here. Jay coloured one like that. Obviously, and he's got he's he's got a white chalk marker on it. Um, coloured the eyes in there, so which is really nice. So you can do all sorts with it. So that there is going to get popped in this part right here. And I'm just going to pop this onto some dimensionals. So I've got my large dimensionals here. So you've got two of us tonight, which is a... Which is a it's something different. We haven't done the two of us doing a, a video for a while, I don't think, Jay. Yeah. No, we haven't. So some dimensionals here. And I'm going to pop this on this card. And it's just going to go off centre. So cute. Like that. We go. I am not going to push that down completely just yet, just in case I need to manipulate it, because I am going to somewhere pop the sentiment, which Jay kindly fussy cut for me, which I now can't find. Oh my God. 
Jay, have you hidden it? What? The sentiment. No, I gave it to you. I'm getting up, if you want me to look. <laughs> Where did he put it? I put it there. It was there earlier. You must have moved oh. it. Is it underneath your card? Okay, I know I had it in my hands. Did anyone see where I actually put it? <laughs> Is it on the floor? Blame me. Is it on the floor? No. Where is it? Tommy took it, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to get him to fussy cut another one. I'm looking still. But you know me with looking, I just look with my mouth. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we were looking for dimensionals earlier on. He was looking all over the place. And there was one key word which he said, it fell off. I said, well, have no, you looked? I, I uh, said, it, I th it might have fallen off okay. because I was using it. If you, if you think to yourself, it might have fallen off, wouldn't you think to look on the floor where it may have fallen off? No, he doesn't. He looks everywhere else <laughs> apart from the area where he thinks it may have fallen on the floor. Because I couldn't see it. So as soon as I say, have you looked on the floor? It, there it is. Just stamp another one. Oh, no. It's falling on the floor. <laughs> So Jay's gonna have to. Whilst I'm doing, I've got a tie bow yet. That was a so, nice cutting as well. We'll make sure this one's nice as well, please. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Please, fussy, cut that for Thank me. You. Thank you very much. Where is it? Watch it turn up then. No, <laughs> got no idea. Um, Okay, so I'm going to be using the snail mail twine here and I'm going to create, be creating a bow. So I'm going to do a double bow. So what you need to do, so you can either create a nice tiny little bow like this and this can go somewhere around like that. But I want to create a double bow. So I'm going to take this. I can't really say to you how much you need because it depends on how big you want your bow to be. But you're going to take it and then you're just going to want to double it up. Okay, so you've got double, double length of bow. And the way that we tie is I will make a loop round and in and then pull. So that's, you can see then that that's obviously far too much. So and the good thing with this bow is you just put it up, put it off and it unties itself. So I can know, I can make this a bit shorter and still have, so you don't want to waste, you don't want to waste any. Steph said look under the blends. Oh, there it is. Oh, well done Steph. Well done Steph. <laughs> I don't need that one, Jerry. Like, that's a retraction. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> so I've got that doubled up. I've shortened it a little bit. So I've got less things. So I'm going to pop up around there, round, put it through, and then tie. And then we can then, and this is, a, this is an easy way of creating a double bow. I don't know how well it would work like this if you did this with like ribbon, but with your twine, definitely. It's a really good way of creating it. And I've not seen anyone do it this way before, and I remember a little while ago when I did this, and you said, oh, you should do a video for that really? one. So here it is, double bow, easy double bow. I can use this. See, now I know earlier on, I put scissors in my box. Well, you ask me to fussy cut it. We've got two pairs of scissors. Well, you could have just reached down. <laughs> Shh, don't you me. <laughs> I'm only kidding. He stole my scissors when there was ones in the box. 
I specifically put them in my box. <laughs> you wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to. And then I'm just gonna then snip. <laughs> Jay, did you, I did start fussy cutting. So Nola said, favor ask and accepted. So that was four. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We've got a bow there, double bow and things. So that I just, just, just did, I cut it off just to release the loop at the bottom. So that's a nice simple bow for you um, if you want to. And then that can go down the bottom here. So I will need myself some mini glue dots and I will take my take your pick tool. So I'm actually nearly ready, nearly finished on this card. Um, so that's Jay's um, warning to get ready to come over. Pop a glue dot there, and we will then pop this. So I'm by not, I'm not popping the bow on the on this bit here because I don't want to give it double height. So at least that knot will stay in line with that one right here. Um. So therefore, we'll hopefully still keep it within the within the cheaper postage. I'm going to grab the mini dimensional and I'm going to pop the minis now on the back of the perfectly cut out sentiment which Jay has kindly done twice for me. I'll use the second one on mine. There's definitely a retraction he's going to be using it himself. And I'm just going to pop this in. Oh no, maybe not. It doesn't fit It doesn't my, not fit. It doesn't fit my... No, I, we're, we're making that. We're, I'll use it for something else, yeah. this one. And then that's going to go, and that's going to go roughly where the the knot is right there. So again, it doesn't give it any more height, but it's kind of like working around it. And to finish off, we will use, because the, these come with it as well, don't they? These are in part of the suite. Yeah, the suite. Yeah. The, so the resin heart embellishments. So I am going to pop a couple of these on. So I'm going to have a white one right there. I will then take a white one down there. And I will have a red one up there. And there we have it. We have my snail it card. I really like that. I think that's cute. My original one is actually the same, but I just made the um I just made the, the banner here a little bit shorter. So obviously it works works both ways. Lovely. But I'm really, really happy with how those two have come out. Nice and bright, fun cards. Yeah. So good. So um, Very bright. Very bright, yeah. So Jay is going to come over now and he's going to do something with the mini. mini curvy keepsake dies, so which I saw in the comments a lot of you, um, some of yours haven't even hit paper yet. <gasps> so I think now is the time for you to crack open your mini curvy keepsakes and it needs to lose its um crafty thing <laughs> <Crafty>. <laughs> 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 just wanted to make it i didn't want i don't, don't want youtube to pick up on the word and go no <laughs> <laughs> it's crafty crafty mojo it needs to be used okay um and that's that so i'm just going to clear it might clear yep. up a little bit of room for jay and he can come in. Do you need these blends? Yes, you just do. leave them on there. That's fine. Do you, oh, and I'll use whatever you've used. Do you need these stamps here? No. No, I'll clean those and move That's those out of your way. Cool. Well done, Barry. Didn't he do well? <laughs> give, him, give him some thumbs up if you haven't done so. Okay, so I got 30 thumbs up. Let's see whether or not you can get it to 61 <laughs> thumbs up by the end of your <laughs> <laughs> so th yes thank you so much to those who've already given the thumbs up and uh shared on uh social media for your friends as well so for the second card uh my thinking is we always try to 
make it difficult for ourselves to create boxes and things like that. It's, it's lovely to do that as well for specific items. But I thought to keep this simple, make use of the mini curvy keepsake box dies uh, because as most of you uh, as well we haven't actually I haven't used this for a while so I thought oh I'll bring it in I was I was trying to um, do something 3d uh, because for the stamp review crew blog hop um, it does actually a snail yes yeah, snailed it hop in five hours time so um, I'm gonna be sharing my 3D item and two more cards on the hop, so check it out. So this one comes with 10 dies. So you have the curvy box there and loads of labels as well. So my inspiration for this one is actually from this specific stamp design. So when I first saw it, it automatically reminds me of um, a video game, uh, which I don't know if you know of, of Super Mario, so uh, and especially with the mushrooms as well, obviously Toadstool um, and Toadette, uh, and that's what I've been coloring recently. So I've already cut my um, mini curvy keepsake box. This is just your, uh, it's thinner than normal cardstock, so it's the normal Whisper White or normal Basic White. Uh, so it's got uh, a bit of flexibility because when you curve it up, you don't want it too stiff. And that's what I'm going to start with. And I'm going to stamp that design in Memento. I'm just going to put this in just in case. You will need either some scrap paper or sticky note. Because when you stamp, you don't want it to go over across. Because the stamp is quite um, sh short, I guess. Um, if you go like that, you don't want the bottom to go up there. So you're using that as your base. But I'm going to be stamping off um, center on a, a couple of the panels as well. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just covering, making sure that I'm covering that panel there. And then I'm just going to stamp all four panels with the same design. So you can either have it straight in the middle or off center. So I, I'll do a couple of off center ones. Is this the same ink pad as what you had? It doesn't look yeah. as, and this one I'm gonna do it on there. Moving across, Ooh, that was not me. I'll do it from there, and then on one side I'll do the full image. Just so it it all all looked um, different. So just to uh, make sure that it's not spreading out. Just to uh, let you know, obviously the curved bit, this one is the outer and this one's gonna go inside. So this one is gonna be in the middle, so I won't need to mask it. And for the colors to match Barry's card, I guess, yeah. I'm gonna use Petal Pink. Actually, did you use Flirty Flamingo? Okay. I'll use Flirty Flamingo because my sample uses Petal Pink. So I'll use Flirty Flamingo and I'll just use Bermuda Bay for the stem things. <laughs> so with the Bermuda, the light Bermuda Bay, really easy. Again, block coloring. You can just do all of it in one go. And I don't know if you've seen what was I doing? Oh, actually, I think it's from my card. I've done... Is this light? That's light. It looks dark. You can do a two-tone leaves as well if you want. 
and by that I mean if you have the light in the dark so do the light first leave some areas left untouched or untouched and then you can go back with the dark so because it's a tiny image you don't need to really blend it but if you want that different look so I'm coming in with the dark just to show you so just to add the shading underneath but I think it works okay with just having one side uh, one color so your block coloring so I'm just gonna continue oh hello mini minis just jump on me So obviously take your time because I'm, I'm just trying to do it as quickly as I can. So I'm just slightly going over those lines. And that one is just a tiny bit there. So that's those ones done. You could also use the dark. So you have granite apple green as well or um which is a nice dark or bright even green but i'm just using the dark to flick those and color those grass and you can even add some more if you want just flick up flick it just randomly and then on this one mini don't look, climb up me no no <laughs> Hey Minnie, it's number one. Jane needs some help. No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't call you. Good girl, Minnie. You paid her. With, you paid her with fish. I, 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 I brought her <laughs> off with treats. <laughs> no. So with this one again, uh, block coloring. I'm gonna do dark flirty flamingo. So. The way I find, I can't remember if we've already shown you how to color this, but I'm just going around the edges. And again, I'm just gonna block color, bullet tip for the fine tip. On there. I'll do that in dark as well. And then light on this one might as well do the rest oh I don't have a light on that one and because it's again the drawing or the yeah the illustration is quite um, cartoony and as mentioned it does remind me of a um, video game as well so I've, I've kind of like the flirt yeah the, the flirty flamingo reminds me of the character Toadette and this one and you saw earlier from the stamp set when Barry opened it I did color some in magenta madness as well that one's really nice i'll bring that out at the end to show you and real red as well a closer look hopefully dark on that one and then for this one is light so loads of coloring but you can o always just do one, centralize it, and then leave the rest, and maybe just do some hearts. So if you don't, if you don't have that much time to color, but because block coloring is quite easy anyway, you can just sit in front of the TV or listen listen to music when you have time and just color loads of these 
and because the the die um, does all the work for you you can just die cut a load of them and then just keep it flat until you need it okay so that's done and then for the stalks uh, on my original I did use ivory and bronze so I'm gonna use light and dark petal pink to see how that works so for the dark petal pink i'm gonna use underneath the mushrooms and then for the stalk i'm just gonna do light petal pink so again no Um, no blending just color it in you can leave it white I guess just be careful if you've already done your your green grass because it might spread it out as well so maybe do the stalks before you add that green So that one is there, and that one is there. Or just avoid those. I say green, Bermuda Bay. Finally. I was gonna um, use the bronze and ivory, but I thought, hmm, that will give me one. So um, I'll just use what I have. <laughs> I think that was Nola who said zero for me, right? I can't, re I can't remember. So nearly done. So to finish up or to add a bit more, so just to show you, yeah, you got a bit of green there. So just to finish up, I'm actually gonna use the blending brushes just to add a bit more color onto there. So I've got granny apple green and I might introduce some Bermuda Bay but I'll open it up just in case I do use it. And because it's got this area is going to be underneath there's no no worries about um, masking that. So Blending brushes, it's nice and soft, individual bris bristles. Um, ink it up in circular motion on your ink pad. And oh, like if you start in the middle here, around, and then just go up each. Oh, look. <clears throat> oh, well, yeah. Just be careful with your inky fingers. It's handmade. <laughs> If you really don't like that bit, you could always just either mask it or cut a square and stick it down. But as I, as I said, it's going to be underneath. And I'm just going to go up. And because blends is alcohol based, and the granny apple green is a, is a light color. It doesn't affect the, the coloring too much. It just gives, I quite like it, it gives it a, a nice hue or haze look. So that's nearly done. I'll bring in Bermuda Bay. I'm just gonna use the same one. I'm going from light ink to dark ink, so if you do have more, again, I only got one brush with me, so I'm just gonna use that. And <laughs> so in the pack, the blending brushes pack does come with three. So use it with um, with your primary colors, I guess, which are, what are the three primary colors, Barry? Um, Yellow, yes, red, and blue. And blue. Yeah. I think, yeah. Like 
answers one, he asked for my opinion. <laughs> but you didn't get out. I was testing you. So it's slightly darker. Christmas rain down. Where did you live? <laughs> yes, that is Red the orange, rainbow. Green, blue. That's how I remember it as well, Krista. Um, some people have the long version. Um, but I always just... I, I, that's how I remember it. So with this one, you have the score lines on there. Ah, uh, look at my fingers. Don't worry about that one. So just fold that in. And what I tend to do is you can either use your bone folder to uh, just curl it up if you, if you like. Or what I actually do is I fold this up as well in the score line. Bring those in together and then press that down to put it in. You can't see it. That's good. You can see that though. Uh, and if you do create these boxes, um, you do just need to press it down slightly to kind of like make sure that that comes out, up so then you can open it. So that is pretty much my box. So it's just decoration. But before I um, show you my other one, I did actually what happens in the video game you get a gold star so i thought i would just finish it up and this die is from the mini curvy keepsake as well finish it up by cutting that and labeling so you could always create uh, the star and then at the back if you have like uh, table favors you can put people's initials snips so we're just gonna snip on there straight up of course you can use the twine from the bundles or the suite as well but it's just gonna flop i want it to stand up right so by snipping it up we're just gonna add that on to there and we're actually gonna use oh man do i need one? Oh no we're we're gonna use uh you can either use <laughs> basic black um yeah can i have the basic black please um marker about oh man i was trying not to or if you have pigment liners or uh stamping right markers but the basic black because it's thick already you can just add two lines you mean stamping right? no i i need the combo marker okay. just the dark basic black See, it would have been faster if I got it. <laughs> well, you said markers, and normally me, you need to stamp in on markers. So just use the bullet tip, and because we're gonna just pop the up like that, I do want the eyes to go that way. So two lines um, straight down. If you really want to, uh, you can also add. What's the chalk? chalk marker? Just to add dots. Yeah, this is the old one. I don't know where our new one is. Where is? No, it's not on there. Yes. Yeah, so what if you. Chalk marker. Uh, can you remember where I put it? <laughs> because I know I used it. No, it's not. This one is like running out. I'm up looking for something. <laughs> I think it's probably in one of the tubs on top. Up there. But you get the idea anyway. We do have... Um, Pigment uh, pen as well. But yeah, chalk marker will work and it's thicker. But if you don't have it, I can't find ours. Just use a pigment pen. Probably falling on the floor. Probably. Which you look at in the last possible point in time. There you go. 
And because we created the slit. That one right there. <laughs> See, I, I, I don't look with my eyes. Uh, and that is your video game inspired keepsake box. So, and that is Paris card. So yeah, so you can just label each one with people's um, name. Uh, you can do, let's have a look. Maybe double it up. So then it's stronger. And then have that upright like so. And then at least it, you don't get the edges. You know when you die cut, you sometimes get scuff marks at the back. So you could always double double do that double do that <laughs> you know what i mean and yes so the the one that i actually created i used as mentioned petal pink so this one reminds me of uh princess peach <laughs> and this one has got uh just jade for the leaves again uh just jade on the dark just jade ivory and bronze and just granny apple green on there so hopefully you enjoyed these. Which one did I use? No, that's got the marks. So I'm gonna go this way. And Barry's gonna come over. You will, uh, one of you will be put into the random draw for this card. And for anyone watching the replay, we'll probably do the same card. Or are we gonna send this flat pack? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll decide. <laughs> um, so I'm just looking through the last name. Um, we were talking about the mini curvy keepsake box and how I turned it into an advent calendar that year. I've actually posted a picture of it on the YouTube community right now, so it's already up. There. Oh, okay. Ooh. So if people are interested and want to see what we did with that, with them to make the advent calendar. Um, have a little look on the community. So just go back to our homepage, click on community, and there's a picture of it in there. Um, just need to just double check everyone's names because I've been sidetracked. Oh, yes, um, whilst Barry's doing that, so closer look. So that one was, um, I tr see, I tried to blend it. It did work. That's a real red combo. And the granny apple green has got. Uh, a darker shade of the green on there so it's the two-tone works slightly better than the Bermuda Bay or our Bermuda Bay looks the same um, and Magenta Madness I love that Magenta Madness with just jade ivory and bronze okay Good. lovely so Ooh. We have lots of you in tonight, which is good. So thank you very much. So I'm just going to set that up. And some lucky person is going to win a bright card. Yes. So whilst Barry's still sorting that out, we do have other um, video using the snail dit uh, with the ledge pop-up card. Uh, we, I don't, we don't have the card anymore because we have sent it to the winner of that uh, YouTube live. Uh, I'm sure you would have seen this by now. Uh, this was from the Stamp Review Crew blog hop with the celebration theme and I actually used the Bear Blessings bundle and paired it with the Snail Dit um, stamp and of, of course the um, sentiment there. And a quick, 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 a quick, quick. A quick uh, sneak peek. This is one of my cards for the Stamp Review Crew Blog Hop. So if you love this stamp set and would love to see more inspiration, do check out the Blog Hop, which will be live uh, on the 1st of February. GMT. <laughs> cool. Good. All right. Excellent. So we are ready. So you're going to have to move that out yeah. later. The person winning. This card right here. Good luck, everyone. Is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, did that just stop on someone's name and then move on? Arlene. Arlene. Excellent. Arlene messages Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com, and this card will be working its way to you. So good. Excellent. So let's bring the camera back round so you can see our lovely faces. <laughs> 
be shocked and be like, wow. Ah. Yeah, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for joining us. Arlene, congratulations again. Message us at barrynj at mythoscrafts.com and uh, send us your details so we can send this to you on the post. Excellent. Lovely. Okay, well, we'll be, we will be back with you again on Wednesday night, 7 p.m. GMT. Um, same time, same place, with something new or something different, whatever we decide to play with. Yes, we do. Okay, we don't know yet. We won't know until about half an hour beforehand. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, Thank thanks you. very much for watching. We will see you again very soon. Bye Take for now. Care. Bye. Bye.